So, just a quick recap of what we did um, before, right? So, basically what we've done is that this is the op-amp and we've implemented the difference part. So it's this here. And in the previous episode we actually added this um, constant current source and replaced the resistor implementation. And now what we need to do is to add the last two blocks of a conventional operational amplifier, which is to add a little bit more gain, and then to add a follower to reduce the impedance further. So, um, yeah. So, to be able to get the circuit prepared for that, so we've been able to simplify this. So this is the, the um, constant current source we've already built in a prior, prior episode. And then here's the differential part, so we just removed some resistors here to get it ready to uh, add on the gain and the um, follower. So, and I've actually already built the um, those parts, so it's here. So let's get this connected and see what happens. Sim Salabim! Had to um, <laughs> rebuild the circuit. <laughs> My um, bird actually destroyed it. He um, cut the end off one of the cable, <laughs> one of the wires, and then uh, he, he was biting at several of the wires. So, so I think this one has got internal damage. So I had to had to remake the um, the circuit. So anyway, so what I've done is I've rebuilt the um, operational amplifier the differential part and then the constant current source so that's now built here and actually it should have been originally built like this so that one doesn't um, use such long cable and then I've just uh, for simplicity's sake for showing the next phase I've just grounded one of the inputs uh, the second input and then the first input takes in, in the one kilohertz signal and then I put in an extra capacitor here on the um, plus feed line too, because it was doing a bit of ringing, so I just put that capacitor there and stuff that. So, anyway, now we can um, continue and add the missing parts, which is the um, common emitter amplifier and the, um, diff uh, the follower. So, I've got the circuit working. There was an issue with the, um, this connection. So this transistor, the base wasn't connected, connecting correctly on the, on the uh, proto board, so um, on the breadboard, so then I had to fix that, so now it's actually running. So anyway, let's see what um, what the op amp can do now with the added um, amplification and then the follower. So here is the circuit without um, input signal, and so you see we've got a, uh, this is a 100 millivolt division, so you see it's got uh, quite a lot of disturbance on one of the input channels. And then the other input channel, I've taken a wire that's approximately the same length and put it to ground, which is a similar situation uh, for the um, oscilloscope measuring the um, input signal. So I would expect that that would not be so good. But let's put the um, input signal up. And um, here we see that they still have lots of disturbance on this um, on on this input signal. And this is um, 20 millivolts the input signal. But you see the output. That's quite a clean. That's 10 volts division. As we see from the differential effect, that um, it actually cancels out all this interference, both the, the spiky interference and then the more sort of continuous interference, and you still get a relatively clean output signal. And that shows the real power of a um, differential amplifier. <laughs>